Okay guys, it's April 23 and this is the vlog from my balcony, vlog from my balcony. So I'm waiting for some delivery, some food um, and I'm going to post a video after this because I went to go out today and the gates just around the corner going on to my my road are closed. So I was a little bit surprised. I thought the uh, security guard had not turned up, uh, but it transpires that someone or somebody in Bilisario Heights is possibly positive of COVID-19. So everything is closed down now in Bilisario. Um, you have to go through the gates, through the wash, through the car wash, through the hand wash, through all the sanitizing, uh, but you have to do that in the main gate, which is this way, oh, this way. Uh, so I live on the secondary part of the secondary gate. Um, yeah, so a little bit surprised, but hey ho, um, that's life. Um, shout out today, it's uh, the 23rd, it's St. George's Day, back in the UK. Uh, he's the patron saint of England uh, and so I will post a little flag and uh, St. George killing a dragon. There we go. Also shout out to, to uh, Ramadan. Ramadan starts today um, and that has to be really really hard. You're already in lockdown and you then go fasting. My god that is really really difficult but Ramadan, Salam Alaikum Salam. Enjoy, take care. It's the holy month. Uh, uh, but that's a shout out. Um, yeah, so um, another update. Um, I was out yesterday, uh, and you have to laugh at this. I w went out yesterday and I did my banking, and I did my electricity, and I did my water. I did all that Rocky, well done, it's all there Rocky. I did some food shopping, so I went through all of these different uh, security checks and all these different food people, and guess what? My pass is not correct. I've been going out on the first number, which is number two, and I should be going out on the last number, which is number one. So I have to update everybody that my pass is valid on Friday, Wednesday and Monday not Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday as was explained to me when they first gave me my pass. So that was a bit of a shock yesterday. Uh, not so much as a shock than when I came back here to Bilisario and the police were here doing uh, checks uh, that I was arrested. <laughs> and I explained that I was told it was number two. And I came out of here today and they gave, let me out that I've been here, here, here and here. So the police went off to turn around and speak to the guards at SM Langen and, and my bank and 7-Eleven and all the places that are checked my pass because I was reading the first digit and it's not the first digit, it's the last digit. So that was uh, me being careless really, being a bit silly, a bit, a bit stupid. But uh, hey, we are where we are. This is going in and out, it's getting a bit big for the car down there. I understand why it's going duck. Why are you going duck? Oh, it looks a bit duck. Oh, back on that. Yes, there we go. Uh, so, it's around 11.30. I've got some food coming. Peter's coming around. Um, and he's going to have some chop suey and some peanut bit uh, and some... Uh, uh, what else we got coming? Yeah, we've got tin alao. Native ch chicken tin alao. Which beautiful absolutely gorgeous so uh, that's the update for, for South Friday really so I'll post some little bits uh, if you like my videos please subscribe uh, but uh, I'm on lockdown at the moment there are a couple of other areas that are on total lockdown so that is Barangay 21 C and Barangay 23 C uh, uh, they're on total lockdown because uh, they're
COVID-19 numbers have gone up. Instead of going down, instead of stabilizing, they've gone up. So that's a little bit, a little bit scary. Uh, there's the first, um, first uh, incident of a young girl in Caraga, 10 year old, who has tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, she's not travelled, she's never been out of her, her barangay or her town or her village and she's tested positive. However, three people in Caraga attended Matina Galleria cockfight back in March uh, and they believe that these people have infected others. So today is the 23rd of April, the cockfight was around the 12th of March it's taken a long time for COVID-19 to uh, develop and gestate the, in, in that area. So it's a, a silent, a silent virus. It creeps up when you just least expect it and it grabs you. Oh, there we go. So uh, yeah, so Antoinette uh, has been doing some teaching today. So she's doing all right, teaching me out of mischief. Uh, I'm sorry, I just thought somebody was calling me. Um, yeah, so uh, it's been announced that uh, there will be no events in Davao until the end of the year. So, Kiripuan uh, is not, uh, not going to happen. Uh, and there are a few other big events that are not going to happen uh, because of social gathering. Um, they're talking of uh, two rumours I'm hearing at the moment. One is it's going to be, uh, lockdown is going to be extended a little bit further, uh, maybe to the end of May. And then on the other flip side, I'm being told that it's going to be relaxed around the 23rd of April, uh, and people can go back. Some people can go back to work. Some other areas just to stimulate growth in the economy within. the within Davao and, the, and this area. Um, I know that uh, Cebu has announced that it's going to uh, extend its lockdown until the end of May. Uh, that came out yesterday. President Duterte is uh, doing a on, on TV live chat at 8 o'clock today, uh, but nothing has actually come out yet about that, so we'll leave that as it is. But uh, the news from here in Bilisario is somebody has COVID-19 and it ain't me. Oh, there we go. So uh, there were also uh, an announcement yesterday that two people uh, had relapsed after being released from quarantine in SPMC hospital, the uh, COVID-19 detention area. Uh, where people get put into isolation. Uh, they'd had 14 days of no tests or no COVID-19 in their tests, so they were released. Um, and then back in their area, uh, and they've been reinfected. So they've gone back in. So that's the first time I've heard of uh, two people being re reinfected. Um, but anyway. But my blog on the balcony, my blog on the balcony, stuck in the middle, oh, 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 there we go. It's my blog on the balcony on a Friday, the 23rd of April. Uh, it's a glorious day, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm keeping up my foods. I had a worst day in Davao three days ago, uh, and I just needed to get home. Uh, but I think that was my own fault, not having any water uh, and not eating enough food. So let's see what goes on. Okay guys, like, share, subscribe. And to all my subscribers, thank you very much. Love you all. Chat later. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, morning guys, it's um, Friday 23rd of April, so, so here we are, oh look at this, very nice, so I'm coming here to Bilisario, 
but <laughs> we are locked in okay that's um, that's a little bit different today oh look so this okay. is the man the man who looks after the gates yes and this is his hello ma'am how are you San Pelco San Pelco oh 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 you're waiting for your food yes ordered food yeah picture picture ma'am picture what do you do food what food do you buy ma'am we're buying food for our lunch is this from Food Panda? No. No. No Food Panda. Oh. Why we go today? Because someone, there is a report that there is already a case here. So this must be closed so that nobody can enter the, the village anytime. Oh, did you hear that? So somebody has COVID-19 in Belisario Heights. Yeah. So they have to control it so that no one could just come in and out from the village. What a bummer! Oh dear me! What a bummer! Somebody is ill! Uh, maybe they were at the Martina Galleria cockfight. Maybe! 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 Maybe they've been sneaking out at night. Not very clever! Oh, there we go! Oh, I think, I think my food panda order may be ready. I order from Food Panda from Abuela. <laughs> no, no, I buy from here. Abuela. There we go. It's a great day. It's Friday the 23rd. Oh. There we go. This is the man that sorted me out. Oh. Thank you. You have it guys, so somebody in Belisario Heights has been reported with COVID-19 and that's why the gate is closed. So I've ordered from some food, it won't come to this gate, it will come to the other gate. There we go. So maybe even some stricter controls is there an aeroplane up here somewhere oh there we go over there oh look there it is so that is the PAL sweeper flight coming in for late this afternoon it's about 170 180 people going to pick up the uh, sweeper flight to Manila it, uh, I think it does five or six different islands, but anyway, I'm here. So, today, we are sleepy sleepy. It's been a hard morning so far, lots of teaching. we go. Can you see the foot? It's moving. A little bit of exercise. A little bit of exercise. So, today, it's Friday, the 23rd of April. <laughs>